This is the final result that we get after our tutorial. We learn the needed stuff regarding timer, time span and stopwatch. So let's start. Welcome back to our channel. In this video I show you how to use timer, time span and stopwatch using C Sharp and Windows Forms. Just to give you an overview we create a complete egg timer. We starting with some slides to present what we need and after this we create the example tool in the practical part of this video. Feel free to use the chapters to jump to the part that you are interested in. I'm your host with over 10 years of experience and I'm happy to guide. So let's start. A timer in C Sharp is a component that allows you to execute code at specified intervals. It is useful for scheduling tasks to be performed repeatedly after a certain delay. The System Windows Forms Timer class is commonly used in Windows Forms applications. Event-Based Execution The timer control allows you to attach an event handler that will be triggered when the timer interval elapses, making it easy to perform actions regularly at defined intervals. User Interface Updates Timers are useful for updating the user interface periodically, providing a live or dynamic feel to the application without requiring user input. Animation and Visual Effects Timers are often used in games or graphical applications to create animations or apply visual effects. A time span represents a duration or a time interval in net. It is a structure that allows you to work with time-based values. Benefits of using time span in Windows Forms include Time calculations Time span allows you to perform various calculations involving time, such as adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing time intervals. Time-based comparisons. You can use time span to compare time intervals, check if they are equal, greater than, or less than each other. Data manipulation. Time span can be used to represent and work with time-related data, such as durations of events or time elapsed between two points. Stopwatch is a class in C-Sharp that provides high-precision timing functionality. It is used for measuring the elapsed time of an operation. Benefits of using stopwatch in Windows Forms include Performance measurement Stopwatch is particularly useful for profiling and performance measurement of algorithms, functions, or any time-consuming tasks, helping you identify bottlenecks. Debugging and optimization Stopwatch assists in finding areas of code that might be slowing down your application and allows you to focus on optimizing those parts. Accurate timing Stopwatch provides higher accuracy than other timing methods like date time or time span, making it ideal for tasks that require precise time measurements. Practical part of the video. Now let's create a fresh Visual Studio project for our example. We use Visual Studio 2022 for this example. If you need help with the first steps or installation check out my basic tutorial for C-Sharp to get an overview and start point. In the first step we create our UI for the egg timer. You can change the style and use your own idea if you want. I increase the speed of this part. After this step we will start to code the needed stuff to bring function to the controls. Feel free to break or skip any section of this step.
First we create some needed variable. One for the remaining seconds on tile the egg is ready and one to see if the timer is already running. I try always to create the code as simple as possible and write any step with you together. For a better overview we create our own methods for start and stop timer. This gives us a better overview and makes it easier to modify the code. To create our needed timer, we use the control from the toolbox. This makes it very easy to create the needed tick event and modify the settings. From time to time I sort the generated methods. This is only to increase the structure of the code regarding better readability. Not really needed for the function.
With it a string method we can manipulate the output with respect to the desired format. Here we use it to display the result in minutes and seconds. The tick event from our timer is called every second. Here we write the code needed to reduce the time and update our displays. We have already made the value of 1 second in the settings of the timer. Interval equals 1000. The egg timer is already functional. You are welcome to test it yourself. But we will add a display that shows us at what time the desired result is fulfilled. For this we use the value from our trackbar control. In a switch statement we can create the output on any value. For example if we set the control to 1, 2 or 3 minutes, the result is too soft.
Here you can see the finish tool. You can set the desired time and start the timer. As a test we use 1 minute to see the output. To not have to wait a minute I have increased the speed. In the function a small error has slipped in. Did you find it? It's only a single character in the code, but it prevents the function essentially. Write me in the comments where the error is and of course what you would improve or add. At last we add a stopwatch to the code to get the total runtime of the program. This is very simple and we use an event from our form that is triggered shortly before closing. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.